Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. First of all, wish you all a very happy new year and wish you all the success and happiness in this new year of 2021. In this video, I will be discussing my watch list for the first week of 2021, the week starting on 4th of Jan 2021 and ending on 8th of Jan 2021. Uh, this list is divided into two categories. The first is a day trade and the second is swings. I have open swing positions on MU and ZM. For day trading, this week I am watching Amazon, Tesla, Apple, ZM, Netflix and Disney. For my swings, I am watching SQ, MU and Twitter. So let's get straight on to it. The first stock I am watching for day trading and a possible swing position is Amazon. So Amazon has been holding this one day triangle for a very long time. Uh, we had a very good day uh, here. Apparently, I wasn't able to capitalize on this move because I wasn't trading on this day. It got rejected around the 33.50 area, which, which coincides with the long-term triangle as well. For my day trading position, I would like Amazon to break 33.50 area uh, for a continuation move upwards. For my swing position, I am thinking if Amazon holds this 32.50, because if we see 32.50 is a very critical uh, zone, for Amazon. So if it holds this level, I would like to open a small swing position on Amazon for a continuation move upwards. The second stock I'm watching only for day trading and not for swings because I don't like swinging Tesla. In my opinion, it moves very widely. So I don't take that amount of risk with my swing positions. But Tesla has been holding this long term channel uh, for a very long time, long term channel for a long time. Yeah and it got it broke this channel but on this day i don't consider this as a breakout because on this day this was just a wick so just before the s p inclusion on on a friday uh, we saw a 695 wick at the market close so i don't consider this as a breakout but the proper breakout happened on wednesday last week that was i think 30th of december and once it broke uh, 700, we saw a good continuation to 718.50-ish area on Thursday, 31st of December. I would like to uh, scalp it towards the upside by calls if it breaks 720 area. I won't be touching it before 720. For uh, puts position, I would like uh, Tesla to come back under this, uh, this channel. I won't be touching Tesla for puts unless it breaks 680 towards the downside because the puts play on Tesla are very, very scary because the premiums move very weak on puts but for calls I would be comfortable uh, buying calls on Tesla if it breaks 720 uh, region. The next stock I'm watching for day trading and for a potential swing is Apple. Apple made a new all-time high and then it got rejected um, from the all-time high. If we go on the one hour chart we can see that it's been consolidating very nicely and I have an alert set if it breaks this trend line but I would like to open a potential swing on Apple if it breaks 134 region because I think it looks really good on the one hour chart and it made a new all time high plus with all the good news and the sales of iPhones and everything the amount of goods they have been releasing and they have released in 2020 for my swing position I would like to maybe buy calls uh, three four five six months out expiry if it breaks 134. Another stock that I like a lot for a swing position is ZM. I already opened a ZM puts play two weeks out expiry on 31st of December because this is picture perfect price action. It dumped really hard uh, for three continuous days. It consolidated and then it dropped again. So 345-ish area, if you look, it was really strong. It broke that level. Now there's a potential gap fill play from 345-ish to 327-ish. I opened a puts position two weeks out expiry. Those are those four contracts are expiring on 15th of Jan. That is the monthly expiry, I think. I opened that swing position on 31st of December itself, just when it broke 345. I don't like day trading. I don't like uh, day trading ZM with big size. I I like swinging ZM because the spreads are insane on ZM. And if I day trade ZM, I go really small size on ZM. At the moment, my swing position of ZM is really small, but I'm thinking of adding to ZM because if it gives me a good, good consolidation and if it stays under 350 because 350 to 351-ish area is my stop loss on ZM for my swing position. But if it gives me a good consolidation and it stays under 350, I would add to my swing position for a potential gap fill to 326-ish area. So my profit, my entry on ZM was 345. My profit target is around 325-ish. Plus, I will add to my position if it pulls back to 350, but my stop loss is 351 to 352-ish area. Another stock that I'm watching for my day trading is Netflix. I don't like swinging Netflix a lot, and I think I missed a good opportunity on Netflix because this area was a good entry point for a swing position on Netflix. I missed it. 
It had a nice squeeze on 31st of December. I was able to capitalize a few of my scalp positions on Netflix. It moved from 535 because 535 area was a good break on Netflix because if you see this 535 ish was holding really nicely. It broke that level and it made a $10 move uh, to 545 ish area on 31st of December. So for this week, I'm looking for a continuation move upwards if it breaks 545 or 550 ish. I don't have a swing position and I'm not thinking of opening a swing position on Netflix, but I would like to scalp it above 545 or 550 ish area. Now coming to my swing trading list, uh, the first stock I'm watching for my swing trading is SQ. SQ had a nice move up and then it dropped really hard for four consecutive days with nice volume. But at the end of the last week, it made two inside day candles. The volume was also low on the market, but these are called inside days where the high and low of the next candle is inside the high and low of the previous candle. I would like to open a swing position if it breaks this trend line. I have an alert set on this trend line with the stop loss of 210 to 215 ish area because I think this 210 to 215 ish area is a really strong support on SQ. If it holds this level, I would like to open a swing position if it breaks the trend line. The next stock I'm watching for a swing position, I already have a swing position open on MU. MU had this nice support area around 70 ish. It got rejected from all time high and I had this trend line set. So if this trend line breaks, I wanted to be notified but unfortunately on this day my phone was on silent so i wasn't notified of the notification on my phone i missed my good entry and i wasn't chasing mu now my plan was if mu breaks this channel i would like to buy calls on mu i have a few calls on mu two weeks out expiry with the profit target of 80 ish i have 80 strike price calls i will maybe partial along the way and my stop loss is 74. I got those calls on 31st of December. My entry was around 75 ish with a stop loss of 73 or 74. Because if it drops down under this channel again, I won't consider this as a good breakout and I will exit my position with a profit target of $80. So my profit target is around $5 in my favor and my stop loss is one to two dollars, which is uh, more than two to one. The last stock I have in my swing trading watch list is Twitter. So Twitter made an all time high and then since then it's been consolidating nicely. What I like about Twitter is that the volume has been really low in this consolidation. So if it breaks this trend line, I have an alert set at the break of 55.40, but my entry I think would, would be around 55 with a stop loss of 54 or 53 and a profit target of maybe 57 or 58. That's my play on Twitter, but Twitter moves really slowly. So even if I get a swing position on Twitter, I will go maybe two, three, five, six months out expiry on Twitter and I will seek my profit taking accordingly. So these are all the stocks I am watching for the first week of 2021. We all need to get used to saying 2021 because we have been used to saying 2020 for a long time, for 12 months. Uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of good content, trading content, including recaps and, and my performance and everything on Instagram. So I will put a link down in the description box below. If you have any questions, put a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can and I will see you in the next video.